The gold door with a hand seal is the final obstacle to overcome in Sons of the Forest, and the gold armor is required to open it, all of which will be covered in this guide. We will also be getting some unique weapons along the way. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. Before being able to start this final objective, you'll need to get the three key cards in the game, which requires getting the shovel key item. Those are both fairly lengthy tasks, and I have dedicated guide videos for each. Links to them can be found in this video's description. Once you've acquired all three key cards, you'll need to journey to a point of interest on the other side of the island. Here is the location shown on my GPS, and here is the full map of the island with an arrow pointing towards the objective. Enter the cave and make your way down into an underground facility. Descend down the stairs until reaching a door that can be opened with the maintenance keycard. Through there and down a few more stairs, you'll find a door that results in a cutscene when opened, which I will skip to avoid any unnecessary spoilers. After the cutscene, continue through the facility. On the same floor that the cutscene takes place in, just before reaching the staircase, there will be a hall to your right, leading down to a bedroom. This is where the putter weapon and several golf balls can be found. Backtrack out of that room and head down the staircase deeper into the facility to another walkway with open doors on the right. The second open door on the right leads to another bedroom where you can find the katana, which is one of the best melee weapons in the game. Returning to the main walkway, go through the third open door on the right. The gold armor is located in this room, sitting on a couch. This is what we need to open the hand-sealed door. Before we can do that though, we'll need to find an alternative exit from this facility. Returning to the main walkway, find the next staircase and take it all the way down to the bottom level. There is a door that requires a keycard to open, but to the left of it you'll find the gold mask in a separate room on an operating table. Then just open up the door with the keycard and climb up the rocky path, escaping back to the surface. At this point, we'll head to a nearby green point of interest that is up along the shoreline with the water on our right. You'll eventually reach the entrance to a stone bunker, and here is the full map of the island with an arrow pointing towards the objective. As a quick heads up, you may want to build a hunting shelter and save the game before using the VIP keycard to enter the bunker. This location is similar to the previous one, except there aren't any unique weapons as far as I could tell. You'll eventually make it down to this recreational area where, if for whatever reason you don't have a shotgun, you can pick up a new one at the bar along with some ammo. Beyond the bar, you'll find a bed where you can save your game and an entrance to a bathroom with a large bathtub. There is a hole in the bathroom wall with steam billowing from broken pipes. Go through it to find the golden hand seal door, equip your gold armor if you have not already done so, then interact with the hand seal to open it. I'll let you discover what lies beyond the door for yourself. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Friday, and a great weekend, and as always, thanks for watching.